It was a very rare Saturday session for the House. A Democratic bill passed that allocates $25 billion to the U.S. Postal Service. The vote was mostly along party lines with some Republican support. On this vote, the yeas are 257 and the nays are 150. The bill is passed. We will speak with a... We'll speak with a House member who headed back to D.C. from California to make sure her vote was cast. But that vote may be the end of the line for this bill, despite this working weekend. The Senate is still on vacation till after Labor Day. It has no plans to cut that short and vote on this bill or even to bring it to the floor when it does come back. And President Trump has said that he will not sign it. Tonight, he tweeted, quote, this is all another hoax by the Democrats to give 25 billion unneeded dollars for political purposes, unquote. He also repeated his misleading claim that absentee ballots are fine, but universal mail-in ballots are not. Absentee ballots are mailed in and all ballots are verified before they are counted. The phrase constitutional crisis gets thrown around a lot these days. This may actually count as one. The Constitution requires Congress to set up a postal service, and the scope of this service is staggering. According to the USPS, it delivers about half of all the mail in the world. Last year, postal workers delivered 142 billion pieces of mail, and the postal service does not get tax dollars each year to help pay its bills. MSNBC's David Gura joins us now with more on today's vote. David, in light of everything that stands in the way of this bill becoming law, what did today's vote really mean? Yeah, I mean, we have seen this groundswell of support, Joshua, over these last few weeks for the U.S. Postal Service. And I think that's what's most significant here. So much attention has been focused on the health of this institution and the importance of this institution. And you're right to take this back to the 19th century, uh, to the 18th century, as a matter of fact. I mean, this is an institution that was founded uh, in 1792 and is, is codified by the U.S. Constitution. It's been around a very long time and people have appreciated for an incredibly long time how important it is to this country to disseminate information information to have an institution like this to get mail and information across this country. Uh, you mentioned what happens next. Yes, we've had this vote in the House. Unclear what's going to happen in the Senate. The president has said he won't veto it. Uh, I was struck by what Carolyn Maloney, the chair of the House Oversight Committee, said to our colleague Alicia Menendez today. Uh, of course, the Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, is going to sit in front of her committee on Monday, field her questions, questions from her colleagues. Uh, this is what she had to say about what happens next. At one point, he said that he wanted to fund it and he wanted a standalone bill, so we gave it to him. Now he says he wants to veto it. Well, we may be able to override his veto if the American people keep uh, speaking out. Uh, personally, I hope that he will listen to the American people, sign the bill, preserve the postal services for America. Every president in history has supported the post office. I expect him to do the same. Of course, there's a, a lot here for the president to listen to. There were protests today in support of the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, we learned today from Carolyn Maloney, the chairman of that uh, committee, that the dip that the postmaster general described, the slowing of service, was more extreme than, than he let on. So there's some very real issues here. And I was struck, Joshua, as I listened to the testimony that he gave on Friday before a Senate committee, uh, how few members, no members of that committee, as a matter of fact, talked about privatizing the U.S. Postal Service. This is something that doesn't cut across party lines because of the way this Postal Service uh, was engineered, has been engineered, and works in this country. Everyone uses it in all corners of this country. It is the last mile for so many people in this country of, of, of delivery. And we use mile loosely. I mean, you can get a letter delivered anywhere in this country because of the United States Postal Service. And uh, Rodney Davis spoke about this earlier today. There were some Republicans who voted uh, in favor of this legislation. He was one of them. He's a Republican from Illinois. Let's hear what he had to say about his rationale for making that vote on the House floor today. Well, I'm going to vote yes. I, I've been a, a big supporter of our Postal Service. I think the men and women who deliver our mail to our mailboxes every day get taken for granted for the job they do and the, the precision that they have throughout that process that really keeps many rural Americans that I represent, it, it keeps them available to have that lifeline into the global marketplace. 
Congressman Davis echoing what I think a, a lot of Republicans would say, a lot of Democrats would say Republicans as well, that this is a crucial service for so many of their constituents. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.